A message to all the fresh new university students going out there. This week's parasha is really thinking about you. And that's because it says that when you build a new home, you should put a fence on the roof of your home so that we can ensure that nobody falls off the roof. And that's something that's imperative. It's even a mit- it's actually one of the mitzvot from the Torah inscribed in the Rambam in, in the Shulchan Aruch. And so the allegory and practic- practical uh, implication for this mitzvah is really a real one. If you actually have a new home, yes, you need to put a fence on your roof so people don't die and fall. Um, but also your new home. Your home, you're going away from home, your first year in university, you're going to have views that are opposing completely um, to that which you have been raised on. The thoughts of questioning your background, the validity of the thoughts and opinions and the culture and the religion and tradition that you came from. You may question your family or your community. You may feel outdated from the place that you have come from, but that's absolutely natural. This is the first year that you may be living with uh, a number of people that are strangers and physically you don't know them and also have really new thoughts uh, that you're being exposed to. But the truth of your heart the validity of your tradition, the beauty of the place that you came from is so powerful and so unique. Nobody and nothing could really take that away from you. However, being at your new home, both physically and cognitively, you may want to put a fence, a fence around your roof. And using a beautiful allegory of the body being our structure, our home, the roof would be the mind. And we're instructed to put a fence around the mind so nothing falls, so we don't fall. We don't allow too many winds to break us and make us fall. We also don't allow anything to just enter. Not every person or thought or opinion is going to be able to enter this beautiful thing that we have here. Uh, and we're gonna be the ones to be moderators of what really is going in and out and what to allow to penetrate and to be absorbed within our system. And that really is the beauty of it. The highest, the most integral part of our system um, should be leading us, directing us. We should use it, but as great as it is, it also could be very sensitive. It has been said that the mind is the worst master, but the most dedicated servant. So our mind could, if it's not moderated, it could just like take us in too many directions. But if it is being directed and it is being preserved in a way with a fence and with parameters and moderation, it will serve us to complete and achieve that which we are looking to accomplish.